I'm Lucy Fink and this week is five days of self-care. Hello, welcome back to Try Living with Lucy. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up to show your support for self-care. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, click right here where it says subscribe so that you're aware of all our new videos. Okay guys, this is about to be the best week Ever. I had a bit of a rocky January getting back into the new year and the one way that I was able to pull myself out of that funk was by dedicating a ton of my energy to self-care. Seems pretty simple but it's not always that easy. I did a ton of research to discover what self-care actually is and here's what I came up with. Self-care is the secret to well-being. It's about reconnecting with yourself, being patient with yourself, putting yourself first. And ultimately, self-care is living a balanced life. And we all need balance. I made a recent post on Instagram asking you guys how you practice self-care and I wanted to let you know that a ton of the activities I'm gonna try this week came directly from you. So first and foremost, thank you. And secondly, I'm hoping that this episode can sort of be used as a crowdsourced self-care guidebook. So let's get into it. One of the biggest ways that I seem to neglect caring for myself is in the physical sense. My job is constantly on the move, I'm running around New York City, I'm carrying a lot of gear most of the time, yet I rarely find the time to do those little teeny tiny physical things that can make a huge difference. So today I went to Chill House, which calls itself a downtown escape for city dwellers seeking a modern path to total relaxation. I started with their signature Chill Me Out blend. And then went into the back for a full body massage. Today's massage was such a great way to start my week of self care. And then I immediately followed it up with a Chill House signature nail design done by one of their in-house nail artists. It was a full-on pampering process. We're talking 45 minutes, gel manicure with the LED lights, hand massage, moisturizer, the works. This is what I came out with. Ooh. And then for the rest of the day, anytime I picked up my phone or I did anything where I was looking at my fingers, I felt lifted up in a way that I'm not used to feeling because I typically don't have my nails done. There's something about having well manicured fingernails and moisturized hands that makes you look down at yourself and think, huh, I'm a queen. Yesterday was focused on physical self-care, but today I wanted to take a beat to reorganize my thoughts here and to really understand self-care a little better. Because truthfully, self-care has become a bit of a fad recently. And I know, here I am making another YouTube video about it, perpetuating the fad, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I read a recent Refinery29 article citing that self-care is now a $400 billion industry. People might start to think that they need to buy certain things in order to feel good about themselves, and that's not what self-care is about. So today I wanted to steer away from the physical and the tangible, and instead focus on the mental and the emotional. I had a brief FaceTime call with a licensed therapist this morning, and the first thing she had me do was conduct a self-evaluation. I began by defining my needs, as she called it. Do I need more sleep? Do I need to give myself a break? What areas of my life are lacking? And all of these questions that I asked myself led me directly to my bullet journal. One of the reasons I love bullet journals so much is because all you really need is a pen and a paper, and you too can have a bullet journal. I'm gonna do an entire vlog following up with my bullet journal. I'll do a flip through and I'll let you plan with me, so stay tuned for that. Today, I just focused on a few things. First and foremost, I watercolored. Painting is an art form that for me really calms me down and relaxes me. I've actually found that painting helps me feel more meditative than meditating. And then when I was done with that, I used my bullet journal to plan out the five days in this episode. I already spent yesterday on physical care, today was about the emotional side, and then I planned out tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. As I learned from today's self-evaluation, I'm not very good at taking time to reflect. I rarely take time to step back and look at my life and express gratitude for what already is. So I used my bullet journal today to create a gratitude log and I just wrote out a bunch of things that I'm really grateful for. You can get a journal from anywhere and then turn it into this customized personal bullet journal that works for you. But if you're interested and looking for bullet journal inspiration, just go on Instagram, hashtag Bujo. You will be amazed. 
about a year ago, I did five days of natural remedies and I loved how it felt to include so many natural things like herbs and essential oils in my life. There was something about connecting with the earth and bringing those elements into me that made me feel very centered and balanced. And I wanted to explore that a little bit more, so today is all about the holistic nature of self-care. I set up an herbal consultation at Naturopathica in Chelsea and it was life changing. If you're super confused about what this means, let me explain. An herbal consultation is meant to supplement the advice from your general practitioner. So these herbalists can't diagnose you or treat any illnesses, but they can advise you on herbs that are traditionally used for health and vitality. The whole process begins with an intake form where you basically sit down and answer a million questions about every single aspect of your life. Your diet, your stress levels, your workout, your bathroom patterns, your skin, and so much more. Then you you have a private conversation with a licensed herbalist and they work with you to address any imbalances in your life. How do you sleep at night? We only filmed a little bit of my consultation because it's meant to be fully confidential. I'm gonna ask that to see your tongue. So if you could just stick it way out like this. Uh... I know it takes a little time. If you need to resalivate, don't be shy. <laughs> so far you seem pretty human. Right? But then the cameras left and I wound up sitting there with Torin for two hours. It's a very personal and private experience so I'm not gonna share too much about what we talked about but just to give you a general idea of two major takeaways that I got from this first consultation. Number one, caffeine has not been great for me. It always leads to a stomach ache for me and also general feelings of overactivity. I talk in my sleep, I feel higher levels of stress than what's normal, so I think I need to keep coffee in just for one more week because the next video I'm filming, I'm gonna need coffee. But after that, I am cutting it out cold turkey. And hopefully we'll see if that makes me feel any better. And number two, Torin wants to help support my liver's functioning because as you might know, I had my gallbladder taken out last year and so without that organ, there's a bit more pressure being put on my liver. And then we finished out the day with an herbal infusion made at the Naturopathica Vitality Bar. To make your life easy, it's just equal parts. Okay. You know, it's just tea, it's not rocket science. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some linden, lemon balm, some sage, orange peel. So then what I'm gonna do is take some hot water, pour that hot water over your herbs. Let it steep for, in this case, a good 15 minutes. Typically, I just kinda like give it a little stir or two to help them absorb. <laughs> Tainado. Ooh, it smells good. How is it? Really good. I know it might sound like we went really in depth today talking for two hours, but the truth is we really only skimmed the surface. Thank you, Torin. My pleasure. Yeah. I'm so, wait, I wanna hug yeah. you. I'm just, I'm so excited to work with you. Yeah, likewise, it was, was great to meet great. you. I will keep you up to date. My whole series at Refinery29 is about trying new things and I found that learning every week and delving into new challenges has been one of the most effective forms of self-care. So today I wanted to keep that up and try out a new healing practice that I have never attempted. A sound bath. I went back to Naturopathica where they have a guided sound bath meditation series going on and I hopped in on one of the classes. The instructor, Tamalin, had these crystal bowls of all different sizes and she was using a mallet and running it along the rim of each bowl and each time she did it, it was creating this resonating sound in the room. Right now, I'm playing you the actual audio from the room. It's difficult to describe, but it's almost as if the sounds are not coming from external places, but the sound is just coming from right inside of your head. And if you think of your ears as two different sides of a ping pong table, the sound is like a ping pong ball that's just pinging back and forth between your ears. I thought it was very cool. It had me feeling incredibly relaxed, but the moment I got home, the first thing I thought of was that I wanna make sure that the self-care exercises that I practiced this week and show to you are things that are doable at home, which is why I decided to try and build my own DIY sound bath at home. And what better way to take a sound bath experiment to the next level than to do it in the bath. So you might have noticed already, I'm in the bathroom. 
here's the toilet paper. I put on a bathing suit so that I could bring you and you and you and you and all of YouTube into the bathroom with me. I lit a row of candles along the edge of the tub, poured in some naturopathica body oil, stepped in, and then put on a pair of noise-canceling headphones that were playing a sound bath meditation video from YouTube. I have to be honest with you, the in-person version was a lot more effective than the DIY at home version because I was actually feeling the sounds and it was resonating within my body, but listening through headphones did not give me the same effect as sitting in the room and listening to those bowls live. Every single person out there has a unique method of caring for themselves. And what works for person A might not work at all for person B. So this is an exploratory game here. I wanted Friday of this episode to be about practicing self-care the way that I myself most often do it so that I can give you guys a glimpse into my typical practice, okay? I invited my coworker Empress to my apartment and in my living room we did a private yoga session with Amanda who is the yoga instructor that I go to pretty much every Saturday and Sunday. We focused on twists, balance, lots of balance. Give me go. And we did breathing exercises. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And by the end we felt so chilled out. Then Amanda walked us through a crash course in essential oils and they were the type of oils that were safe to both apply topically but also to ingest. So we got to taste them, we smelled them, it was a lot of fun. It's a licorice green juice. <laughs> Afterwards we did unique face masks based on our individual skin needs. And then we just hung out on the couch and watched a few episodes of Friends. That to me is a classic self-care day. Spending time with people I love, doing yoga, learning something new, skincare rituals, and friends. You gotta know what you like. But now I wanna know what your ideal self-care day looks like, so comment that below. Remember, self-care is not about selfishly considering your needs and your needs alone. It's about understanding that if you don't care for yourself properly, how are you ever gonna be able to care for or give to the people around you. So love yourself and take care of yourself fully because it's key to an improved mood and a good relationship with yourself and others. Thanks for coming back and let me know what you want to see me try next time for five days at a time. Hope, wait, self-care. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Click here for another video on Refinery29, right here to subscribe to us on YouTube and here for my personal YouTube channel. See ya! Woo!